Hi, good afternoon from Shanghai. My name is Sukuna O from Shanghai Gallery. I am also the project manager of Yang Fudong's latest exhibition, Endless Peaks. It's my pleasure today to give you a virtual walkthrough into our gallery space and also to gain some understanding about um, Yang Fudong's latest creation. Um, the main purpose for us to host this online virtual walkthrough is to provide a platform to present artists' recent works and also um, exhibitions and also, of course, um, maintain communications and uh, um, exchange ideas um, under the situation of pandemic. Um, in the future, we hope to do more online programs and involving artists and also curators in depth conversations to connect each other and also to explore art. So, before we start introducing the exhibition, I'd like to give the brief introduction about Yang Fudong's um, background and to some of the people who may not know him before. So, he was born in, Yang Fudong was born in 1971 in Beijing. He was trained as a painter um, at the oil department from China Academy of Art um, in the early 1990s, but pursued his artistic career in filmmaking and also photography. So, his first film, An Strange the Paradise, was premiered at Casal Documenta in 2002. So, since then, he has developed a significant body of the works, mainly in film installation and also photography. So, seen as one of the important contemporary artists, and uh, his works often just oppose this traditional um, Chinese culture tropes with contemporary context and featuring this um, fragmented, overlapping and abstract storylines. Um, so, as a film director, his, seri his series of the works are seen as a classic works um, in the history of contemporary art, and such as some intellectuals in the bamboo forest and also the multi-channel film installation East of Chir Village, and also this this um, classic black and white film, Moving Mountains. Um, so his works broaden the method of narrations towards the moving image and also himself has been constantly putting forward and uh, practicing new concepts um, such as his epoch project he did in 2018. He set the filming studio inside a museum space which was at Long Museum in Shanghai and then he opened the process of filming to, as the exhibited works um, to the general public audience and also allow them to reflect on what is the definition of film if the one we see in the cinema or the process is a film. So back to the Endless Peaks which was opened at Shanghai Gallery um, in last November um, actually revealed Yang Fudong's recent new focus. So this exhibition is seen as, um, well, is actually the, consisted of the major bodies of the works as paintings and also we have photos and also multi-channel video installation. So as many of Yang Fudong's works actually broaden the masses of narrations of a moving image, um, Alice Peaks also has developed its own unique way actually to conduct a film. Um, so the exhibition is also seen as a crucial practice for Yang Fudong uh, to approach his imagery film. And, uh, um, I would like to give the brief um, um, introduction about the structure of this, of this exhibition before we actually look into the individual work and walk into the space. Um, in Chinese, we have an old saying, um, the true face of the mountain loop is lost to your sight while you are residing in the mountains. So to prevent that happening, uh, we would actually stand in a distance and to have a look at the overall picture um, before, uh, in case actually we're getting lost actually in his mountains. So. Um, so the, um, starting from the title of the exhibition, Endless Peaks, I'm sure each of us actually has our own version of this landscape describing this continuous mountain ranges that actually lie in the endless of sea of clouds when looking from the far distance on the top of the mountain. And then the poster actually which behind me, um, standing outside the gallery wall, actually presets um, individuals sort of a infinite psychological change. Um, so those actually just information for us to, to get some impression actually before we really see the um, individual work. So now actually let's walk inside and have a look what is about Endless Peaks and also allow us to immerse in Yang Fudong's Endless Mountains. So when we walk into the space and the trailer showed at the reception lays the tone of this invisible ongoing film.
The two sets of the endless peaks one and two consist of the two conceptual mountains on the ground floor. So different from the um, grand perspective from the endless peaks one and two, the big painting, its wing series present more details and traces to form narration. There is a site-specific trick hidden in one frame of Atlas Peaks 1. The doorway of this long staircase leading to the second floor was camouflaged as one of the black glass covered works from the side of the 15 pieces. So public audiences have to enter the paintings in order to continue the journey. So this long staircase covered by layers of the black mural films create a viewing relationship between inside and also outside. This dark passage influences how your moon would roll up and down while you up and down the staircase. So the complex installation, Alice Peaks 3, is made of the 14 channel video installation and also a large acrylic um, on photo collage. So it's in, this installation dominates on the second floor is seen as a modern version of the film. So on this floor, the portraits of the monks interact and also form multiple dialogues with the landscape images that artists took in Tiantai, Zhejiang. We're back to the ground floor. So this only color painting, which is um, Oyong canvas, uh, named as Propitious Clouds, actually stands out in this black and white two context or environment. Um, it presents like a promising open ending of this film. As some of you may know Yang Fudong's practice, what he emphasizes and also values most is not often so-called serious um, specific purpose or the in-depth elaboration, but feelings, uh, experience and the breath. To be more specific, feelings represent our responses to the outside world and the experience is more like inward observation. And then breath um, is like balanced interplay between the inside and the outside. So in other words, he doesn't impose any existing or fixed rules upon the reality that he faced with. So instead, he follows the principles of feeling it before understanding it and resorting to understanding to inspire feelings. So this leads to his painting as a film, an imagery film. This is also the principle and the methodology or the passage to understand his endless peaks today. So we're back to the ground floor and to look into the individual work. Alice Peaks 1 and 2 draw the inspiration, both draw the inspiration from um, certain, late 13th century painters, Yan Hui, 16th, Luo Han. Um, so Yan Hui is a very unique artist in ancient Chinese figurative painting, but he is relatively ignored in historical records. And Yang Fudong really likes his bold lines and eccentric um, character modeling, and also the texture, very special texture exuding from Yan Hui's painting. So why 16 monks? Um, we know actually the religious subject is the crucial part of ancient um, Chinese painting, which Yang Fudong has always kept an eye on, um, whether he was studying at China Ac Academy of Art or working on film projects. So to him, Asian painting is not only a Chinese tradition or a cultural backdrop. Instead, it's a source of inspiration that is constantly developing. So to look at Asian painting is like to absorb nutrients um, to the artist. So the two sets of the works um, actually display in the format of this long scroll painting. Um, so the artist, the, the way actually how long scroll painting unfolds gradually is similar like to playing a film and from the artist's point of view. And so Yan Fudong selected 10 different sections of the images from original Yan Hui's version and then re-adapted into his own version. So each se selected section of the images resemble the shooting scripts 
the long screw painting. In this scenario, we call it the long screw film. So then he、um, put together、uh, all different、um, readaptive versions. Images along with or paintings along with the modern landscape photographers together on the same surface, it's like to re-editing the narration、um, of the is of this、uh, images actually in the same dimension, and so each of the work actually、uh, is decorated with various glasses leveled in different transmittance. So Atlas Peaks One.、Um, Consist is consisted of the ten different paintings and also five photographs. So this set of the works are、um, this set of the works is de decorated with black glass in different transmittances, which achieve a result that details are absorbed in this darkness, which artists call it、um, this invisible image,、um, which would call up this psychologically suggestive narrative. So Atlas Peaks Two remotely echoed Atlas Peaks One, but different in size and also number of the works. Atlas Peaks Two was also a long scroll, consisting of photographs and also、um, actually seven photographs and ten different paintings. So this set of the works is coated with、uh, mirror glass in various transmittances. Which actually allow you to see the details of the work, also reflect yourself on your own images, and also、um, the changing environment,、um, and also to form this、um, the, the the vision of the interfered images. So this disruption and also the changing reflected environment result in a relationship between the virtual and also real. The similar method actually used in. Um, Yang Fudong's、uh, Beyond God and Evil: Enemies of Truth,、um, the the project we did in 2019、um, at Westbound Art Fair. So now we can look at the painting at the end of the space on the ground floor, named "It's a Wind."、Um, Yang Fudong freehandedly readapted. The Sixteen Law Hands by Shi Tao, who is a Chinese painter in early Qing Dynasty. So Yang Fudong really favors Shi Tao's ethereal style and also admires his absolute talent in painting. So this so-called "It's the Wind" referred to the judgment on things. Wind actually symbolized something invisible and yet sensible. And here it was used as a metaphor for the implicit narrative. So the painting, and also including the drawing from the triptych,、um, present this unfinished texture, which first showed in Yang Fudong's work,、um, Blue Kailing, a work that actually made in 2008. So this unfinished texture represents an aesthetic narrative. And also to control the traces of time is the entering point to understand this incompleteness, and also the space between how we see the traces of time and also control of the incompleteness evokes a new a visual imagination. The triptych consists of photography drawing and also acrylic on wood panels. Featuring this very highly abstract approach, dissolved the, the difference among the different media through a montage-like imagery. The unfinished presentation continues to the works、um, painted on the wood panel, the formless Hermes series. It gave you the sense of、um, the texture of printing. Or drawing, also the murals, a forms a sort of a solid narrative collage by using the mixed painting method. And painting is the trees of time accumulated on the canvas.、Um, once the painting is finished, and、um, the people actually would comment、um, on the painting according to the the traces that artists actually applied、um, and also left. On the canvas, so the trace itself actually forms narrative as well. 
So the gallery space on the second floor, um, which viewers actually step into by entering um, the painting, so presented a um, the visual metaphor of the reality world. So the works on display here were mostly uh, realistic photographs and also uh, videos. So Yang Fudong finished all his filming in the Buddhist temple on Mountain Tiantai in Zhejiang province, China. So uh, this temple originally built in um, 598 during the um, Sui dynasty that dates back almost more than 1,000 um, years ago. So um, the Tiantai sect is the first Chinese Buddhist sect to evolve from the uh, original Buddhism after it was spread to China. And Guoqin Temple um, became the um, credo of the Tiantai sect in Japan. And also this Tiantai sect spreads inferences actually across Asia. At least Pix 3 um, separates from the first and second versions and uh, evolves into the modern version of the third conceptual mountains of this exhibition. And um, um, on the second floor is more like an inner world compared to the very bright and open um, space and uh, um, on the ground floor. Um, so this very complicated installation work is consisted of the three different parts, um, including a 12 meters long scroll acrylic on photo collage. And it may not be um, easy actually for you to see what it really looks like from the, um, the installation views. And so we show the, um, the image actually can present entire um, um, entire presentation of the, the long scroll uh, painted um, collage um, and also allow you to see some of the traces and also details. So the 14 channel mainly shows the scenery that shot from the top of the Guoqin temple and uh, present um, some of the footages of um, how the, uh, the monk's daily life would be. When we look into the details that uh, the moving image is actually from each channel, um, the intertwines with the images uh, from the painted photo collage. Um, so the method actually looks similar to dawn breaking project, um, that videos actually are projected on the wallpaper. Um, so through the various textures and uh, it also can form um, or construct a psychological narrative. And then the, the metal glass cabinet is often used in the um, museum context to display cultural uh, relics. And now the cabinet is used um, in its exhibition and actually plays an important role and to reflect on how time actually changes in, in a space and also um, keeps a distance between inside and outside and also the present and the past. So on the same floor, we also can see a series of the still images and uh, those photos actually allow us to see the Lohans or monks actually in the modern times walking 
and stopping, working and resting in the mountains and also the temple. So the individual poetry of the monks sometimes confuse us. I believe many people may wonder if they are real monks. So they are artist friends or themselves are artists or photographers or designers. Um, and because and, and also we actually can see um, um, some um, very beautiful landscape, including the rocks, bamboos, and waterfalls, uh, because actually they carry this um, Zen spirit, spirit, so they can also be seen as invisible monks um, in its uh, multiple uh, dialogues. So together. Uh, the monks' poetries and also the um, landscapes, they reinterpret this modern version of the Sixing Lohan. So the introduction um, of the exhibition is almost finished, just to make a summarize here. Um, Yang Fudong thinks he has moved forward to approach imagery film um, through the exhibition by constructing an irregular narrative expression and um, re-establishing the relationships among the painting, photographs, and also the movie images um, in the real space, and um, uh, which can assist audience to generate ideas. And endless peaks also uh, possibly can be seen as the the fourth film actually archived in his library film project, which was conceived um, back in 2006 and seven when he was working on the last episode of um, the Seven Intellectuals in the Bamboo Forest. And then he planned to make 22 films and archive those films um, in the project, like how the books actually are, are kept in the library um, this is actually where we get this name from. So by now, the first four films are the Frequent River uh, film he shot in his hometown, in Herbei, um, specially attributed to his parents, um, that he did his film. He shot the film actually back in 2016. And Dumb Breaking, uh, the museum film project, as we early introduced at the beginning, um, Dome's The Separation Phase is a long documentation film and then comes to the um, the fourth one, Endless Peaks. Um, this, um, the project actually possesses this ambience of a movie images uh, which can evoke imagination, um, but the film actually has never really happened. And all um, artists actually think we are covered here as an invisible film or the film actually unseen. So um, among the different films rep actually represent the um, uh, characteristic concept of the film and, 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 also, um, and, and also all the films actually archived in the um, library film project um, that's all discussed the core cool question that um, does a man actually have a spiritual life? So religious subject is also the um, part of this spiritual life and the belief um, so therefore, from from the name of the exhibition, including the choices of the monks and uh, and also this de depiction about on um, the monk's life, and uh, he's trying to present: is there really a spiritual life that people um, aspire to nowadays, uh, apart from the mundane life? Um, so my um, walkthrough now comes to the end. Um, the eponymous books of the exhibition uh, will be published in spring so we will actually release the news on all our social um, platforms um, so i hope you enjoyed the film and also to wish you a happy new year of 2021